Hello there, and welcome. My name is Alex Rodriguez, and I'm a sophomore at Lehigh University majoring in biology. Today, we will be delving deep into the meaning of arguably Lehigh's most mystic sculpture, known as the Temple. The Temple is a sculpture that connects the physical world with the spiritual and astral planes that stretch beyond tangible physicality. The structure was built in 1987 by a female artist known as Mary Ann Unger. Unger was celebrated for her large-scale works evoking the body, bandaging, flesh, and bone. Despite the temple's seemingly lack of each of these characteristics, the sculpture is more of a vessel which can be synonymous with that of a body. Many times, the human body is referred to as a vessel for the human soul. With that in mind, let's explore this very idea in more detail. The temple is an orange cylinder-like structure made up of thin metal pieces resembling a see-through canopy. There is only one small doorway for people to enter and stand in the center of the structure. If you look upwards once inside, you will notice that the top of the structure is open, allowing you to gaze directly upon the sky above. It almost looks like a celestial spaceship with a skylight to the universe. The structure seems unworldly emitting a cosmic aura. Just based off the description and appearance of the structure, could you see the sculpture as Unger's interpretation of a vessel that can transport the soul to the spiritual world solely by journeying inside? To me, the sculpture is just that. It's ethereal. It embodies the physical and spiritual aspects of life, the most obvious being the physical aspect of the sculpture. To a superficial observer, the sculpture is just a canopy, nothing more, nothing less. But what you don't see are the things you have to look deeper within the structure to find. This is the spirituality behind the temple. Think of the word temple. What does it mean to you? Well, to me, temple is sanctuary, safety, serenity, and bliss. It's a place that will protect me from the struggles and turmoil of the outside world. It's a place so safe that I may be able to calmly meditate or pray to God without worry of interruption. Well, that is exactly how I interpret the sculpture. It is a place of safety and meditation that is interconnected and woven to the spiritual world. The word that comes to mind when I think of the structure is not an adjective, but a noun. A word commonly used in astronomy known as zenith. Zenith is defined as the specific point in the sky directly above an observer. So if you were to go outside and look directly upwards, the point in the sky at which you are standing is your zenith. If I was to stand inside of the temple and look upwards, I would be viewing the sky from a narrow opening in the top of the sculpture. It makes it seem like my zenith at that center spot is more specific or purposeful since the narrow opening is almost as if it is inviting me to look up and gaze upon the universe at that exact position in the sky. And because of that exact reason, the temple is a vessel that intertwines the physical body with the spiritual soul of anyone who gazes upon its opening towards the outer universe. The sculpture acts as a portal to the spiritual world for those willing to enter its temple.